what is happening here is total on the former president has constitutional immunity prosecution starts from investigations you cannot search the the premises of the former president he enjoys constitutional immunity what is happening here is total lawlessness and should not be allowed many zambians remember that i worked for the former president dr frederick chiruwa for 10 years we had similar situations where the task force on corruption wanted to search the former president before his immunity was lifted it was not possible and you will remember that the day that uh, Dr. Chulwa's immunity was lifted, a horde of police like this stormed his residence. And that process went for two years. And the task force on corruption and the police stayed away. They couldn't search him until the, the Supreme Court at the time confirmed the coming from President Haka Inde Ichilema. At every turn, he's accusing his former president and he will not allow that to happen. So when the a president, sitting president says, I will not allow this to happen, what does that mean? This is what it means. Law enforcement agencies will be lawless to people like President Longu because he's at the mouth of the current president. He has so far spoken three times disparaging his former president and saying he will not allow the former president, as if President Akainde Ichilema is the constitution. President Lungu is eligible to stand if he wants, but he has said he's in retirement, and you need to respect that. So I just wanted to emphasize that what you are seeing here is total lawlessness, abuse of the constitution, abrogation of the constitution, and these police officers must leave. Whoever is directing them, they must leave because they are here illegally. If they want, let them lift his immunity, then they can come and investigate and search him. Um, I have seen the former president, uh, Dr. Edgar Chagwalungu. I have seen uh, the former first lady, Mama Esther Lungu. Um, the police were here slightly before six and this standoff you are seeing has been going on for the last four hours they requested that uh, their lawyers be present uh, because you've seen the horde of police that are here they really i don't know what they've come for because this is not for an investigation especially for the armored armed policemen that are here we wish to restate that the former president as constitutional immunity. You cannot search his premises. You cannot. The former first lady, according to the search warrant who they want, they can issue a police call out and she will comply. But you can't forcibly attempt to go into the premises where the former president is. Whether it's a rented property or not, you cannot do that. That's total lawlessness. They claim that they want to search the former first lady. They claim that there are certain vehicles that they are looking for and that they want to then search the, the house and the entire premises. The lawyers have read to them what the law states, that the first lady is a spouse to the former president and the two live together at this house. And this house, they cannot have access to it whether they purport that they are doing investigations or they wish to prosecute, until they do what the law is required. After that negotiations with the police, the name of, of Mr. Siandenge, Commissioner of Police, keeps on coming up. He's the one directing this entire operation. Mr. Siandenge, I want to look you in the eye. You report to the president, you are probably seated next to the president. You are probably briefing the president about this illegality. Advise the president the correct thing. Because the abuse of the law you are doing is the president who is committing this breach. It is not you. You were appointed by the president and if you wish to be unlawful, if you wish to perpetuate legality, it's the president you are putting on the line for future prosecutions. If this government is keen to investigate the former president, they should do what is uh, allowed by the law. 
The president is in jovial mood, is shocked by this conduct. The former first lady, I've seen her, she's willing to go to the police even now if they issue a call out to find out why they want her. She has wondered why they are dealing with her like she's a fugitive. She said, they, last time DEC wanted me, I reported to DEC. Where is the difference where they come up? Zero 04, zero 05. And they come with search warrants purporting that she has stolen vehicles. Can the first lady steal vehicles? Mm. We want to work our lives. So, as it stands now, what's happening? Have they been allowed to go ahead? The police have threatened to storm the residence. We are waiting for them to break the law. We are waiting for them to, to breach the law. The law is very clear. This is where the former president is. If Siandenge has told them that uh, they can breach uh, the gates and enter and go and search, for us there's nothing we can do. Because if the police wish to behave like we are a police state, and before I allow Honorable GBM to come in, we as a patriot front are putting this on President Hakainde Ichilema. He's the one that keeps on issuing public statements. Yeah. That you will not allow the former president Takabuelelepo. Takabuelelepo. So what does he mean when he says he will not allow him? Has the president become the constitution? Even when President Lungu has said that he's not coming back, he has said I'm in retirement. Mm -hmm. The fear by President Akainde against his predecessor is now motivating this lawlessness you have seen today. And they are threatening to go into these premises. They claim that they search warrants to search the former first lady. So what we are saying is, my first lady, we can have a president. So no more to You are targeting the president. A president. Yeah, exactly. former first lady. Exactly. We can have a former first lady. We can have a president. So how will you conduct that search without breaching the constitutional rights of the Let former president? Let them just come out in the open and say what they want eh, to our former president. We know they are targeting him. We know this. It's not the former first lady they are looking for. I call that to be stupid and nonsensical. Eh? For yeah. someone to send some people to come and start searching a former president. That's true. Mind you, you should also realize that one day you'll be a former. Just because they've seen that the PF is still popular. We are still popular and will remain popular. Yeah. Eh? Mwayamba nomba ukula tinya avantu. Mm. Zambians are suffering. Why don't you first deal with the issues of Zambians, the way they are suffering? Give them food, give them three meals a day, which you promise them. And then what kind of children? In the GBM. Today you are worse than even PF. Mm. Eh? Now, you, because you've seen that the popularity eh, of uh, 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 of our former president is getting higher. Now you want to start intimidating. We are there to support him. Yes. But let's stand up for the Edgar Lungu. Let's yeah. support him. People of Zambia, you've seen the difference now between PF and uh, UPND. You've seen who was saying the truth. Who are the hypocrites? Who are the liars? Who lied you that they will turn this country into a gold mine? Mm. Today, Zambia is something else. People are suffering like nobody's business. When I walk in a supermarket, eh, everybody there is complaining. Mm. People have become worse than they were under the leadership of President, later, I mean, uh, President uh, Edgar Lungu. So what I'm saying, or what I'm trying to say is that, please stop intimidating, stop harassing the former president. He has told you in no uncertain terms that he is not returning back to politics. We are there, and I'm one of the presidential candidates. I know in case I mean in and they mean so 2026 Mundo Lelevan and Daisa. So the Kenyu Kuchusha and Tuani, Haga and Tuani, Ukuchusha Lungu, which a fish am Chita, Lungu Alilanda Kale. 
Eh, finish ya mchitre. Ni cho ground ba opina ba mwe wote atelungwa lipopi loko mchila. Mula ndu wenu, mula ndu wata because you are liars. Stop lying to the Zambian people. You lied to them at dollar like a well up at 10 kwache anga mwateka. You had a lot of collections around the world. Le loya di kuisa. Na ba IMF today they have let you down. There is a lot of hunger. First deal with the issue of hunger. People are suffering. People are suffering. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable GBM. He should arrest the high cost of living. He should arrest the high cost of fuel. He should arrest the high cost of food prices. He should not be arresting his political opponents. My reiteration is to Deputy uh, Police Inspector General, um, Mr. Siandenge. By the way, I worked with him in, in uh, uh, Western Province. He was my police commissioner at the time. <laughs> I'm sincerely appealing to you. You cannot subvert, you cannot abuse the powers of the Inspector General of Police. You are a deputy. It's imperative that you respect that hierarchy. Now, my president, my president, my president, my president, my president, my Do not conduct operations that are political. Be professional as a police. That is our advice to Commissioner Siandenge. And we are on firm ground. That is the one maliciously directing this process. We want to call I will speak to you later. Again, to the guy. Okay. You are aware that we are here. The police arrived at 06 hours, just before 6, and they demanded to search the premises. Uh, they said they had obtained a warrant to search the premises. This premises is the residence of the former president, Zambia's sixth president, uh, Dr. Edgar Chagwa Nungu. And Technical issues arise, constitutional issues arise, uh, legal issues arise. The police purport that they are looking for the first lady and that there are issues connected to the former first lady that they want to search according to the warrant. I have personally not seen the warrant. Our lawyers informed them that this is a premises of the former president who enjoys constitutional immunity. And it's not possible that you can search uh, the first lady, you know, who lives at the premises of the former president. Uh, it's just not possible because you'll be interfering with the constitutional rights of the former president. I went in earlier and I spoke both to the president and to the former first lady. And the former first lady made it very clear that she's lawful, law-abiding citizen. She has previously been called for investigations to the Drug Enforcement Commission and she complied. So she wondered why there was this huge operations, operation against her. She has advised his lawyers, Honorable Makebi Zulu and others, please come sir, please come sir. No, no, please. Please, please sir, come join us. Please I come join see, us. See, 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 see. Uh, she has advised the lawyers that if the police want, want her, they can issue a police call out and she will comply and come to the police. However, the police have insisted that they need to conduct searches. And the various consultations that have been going on the last one hour appear that the police are determined to conduct the search. The standoff you are seeing is exactly that. Now, the former president has not consented to the search of his premises. He has not. But the police are insisting that they conduct the search. You've seen back and forth our lawyers and, and uh, the police having those discussions. We have made it very clear that if they want a former first lady, she will report yeah. to the police. If there's anything they want connected to her, whether it's a motor vehicle or whatever, and if she has knowledge about it, she will avail it to the police. Uh, so this is where we are. The police have sent a word to the former president and the former first lady that they are determined to execute the warrant. So where entry has been denied, I don't know how they will execute other than to storm the premises, other than to bargo into the premises, other than to force entry into their premises. Honorable, welcome to this interview. You are aware of what is happening and I hope you are following uh, no, the, the events. 
uh, please you can say the remarks especially on behalf of the Patriotic Front. Well, I think uh, what you said is, that, is adequate. Uh, we all know that uh, this is as a result of uh, the paranoia that Ms. Akarinde Chilema has and the UPND. There are two things at work. One, the fact that the uh, Patriotic Front remains strong and united. Two, uh, the Zambian people are debating uh, the performance of Misaka in the HLMA in comparison to the performance of President Edgar Chakalum. And clearly the distinction is in black and white. And therefore, they, our friends, have been running a narrative which in the process they have decided to believe. A narrative of the coming back of former president, which I think colleagues have already commented on. So that is uh, what is at work. This is total madness to have uh, a former head of state who enjoys immunity uh, being stormed by police to have a search in the manner that this is being conducted. It's very unfortunate. But I can only warn my brother, Misaka in the Vadala. Chitana ngunumu veja. Eji nchomu jita, you are quoting anarchy. You can only govern in the midst of peace. You can't govern in the midst of confusion. Whoever is advising you, varamu jenga mudara, eji nchomu jita kuru wa edi, nganjika jare tapa opezi mu, mujisi za zami. Gandagu muromba, uru muhonto wenu, utukonse komu bete, eja amu jiregebe. So I'm just advising you as a young brother, can you stop this nonsense? Thank you very much. Thank you, colleagues. We wait for the storming in.